Now, once we learn the recursion, let's do all the stuff we did with linked list. This is how I print the linked list. I'm going to print 10. After I print 10, I still have a linked list, but this time it's a print linked list start from 12. It's the exact same problem, it just became smaller. That's the exact same description of the recursion. That is, every time I process, I do the same thing. That is, I just print the data, but once I print the data, my problem became smaller. Originally, I have longer list. Now I drop in, start from here, next time start from here. So look at that. You say start from head, you print. If it's null, you have to do this. This is my base case. If it's null, there's nothing you can do. Just return. If it's not null, print the data. I'm going to print 10. So let's run this code maybe. Look at that. So is that null? No, I'm, I'm right here. Uh, print the data. Cool, I print 10. This thing, look at that, this print, it's exact same print here. I'm just calling myself recursively, but I will call this 12 because this thing is already processed. I'll call this 12. It comes here, is 12 null? No, call print 12. And then I'm going to call it with 12 next, with 15. So every time this problem becomes smaller and smaller, when you call with 36, print dot, 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 36, and 36 next is null, and then it stops, right? And then it stops. Yes, if you don't use recursion, then you have to use a while loop, you have to use a current, move current is equal to current next, you have to move it yourself, fine. This way, you know, it's very intuitive. You print, right? You print here, and then you do exact same thing, but my problem just became a little bit smaller.